Good morning, I am Dr. Joe Matthew and today we are going to do arrangement of upper artificial teeth. Okay, So we have got a three point articulator, a mean value articulator and um, we are going to do arrangement here. This course is primarily meant for the preclinical students who are doing laboratory arrangement. So this is an ideal cast as you can see. It is an ideal cast even on the lower. Okay. Record bases have been made and occlusal syndromes fabricated. So entire record blocks are there. And a jaw relation has been simulated with the bite registration material on the rim. This bite registration record is made of zinc oxide eugenol. As you can see the notches are there. And you can see the notches and the registration in the lower. So they have been mounted in tandem. As you can see very clearly, the notches are being represented. You have the notch, the material going into the notches of the upper and the trough right there. So today we are going to do the arrangement for the upper artificial teeth on this articulator. And uh, let me go change my coat and then we will continue. Okay, so now we are going to do the arrangement of the upper anteriors. And I have in place my articulator. As you can see, there is a 2 mm over jet of the upper to the lower. Because of this reason, we have to, when we arrange the teeth, if I use the lower occlusion block here and try to assess it, I will not be able to know the incisal position of my incisors. Okay, I'll have to keep on comparing it. So, I personally prefer to remove the lower, lower cast along with the occlusion block and place my mounting table which I used to mount my upper maxillary cast. Like this, as you can see, the occlusion block is in line with the table. You can see very clearly the edge of the table and see from this side also you can see how the occlusion block is in line with the mounting table. So this is very useful for us when we try to arrange the teeth you can always check the level with the level of the table so it's clear. Of course I'm not going to use the mounting table as my reference for the occlusion level. I'm going to use a glass plate but this is going to help me to know my position that I don't wear off too far. Okay, so let's go on. This is my set of artificial teeth that I'm going to use. As you can see, there is a plane for the central incisor. If I just take the central incisor and put it on a piece of wax, you can see very clearly that there is a plane here. This is a plane and this is the neck of the teeth, of the tooth. And this plane, this middle and incisal part, this plane, this plane should be in line with my occlusal rim. The neck should go inside. So it's very important to remember that because otherwise you create a inesthetic arrangement. Let me just take off this. Okay, put an area for working. This is my midline. Okay, make sure my instrument is not too hot. I like to cut off wax like you would cut a piece of cake. Go down, cut off the wax, 